To make sure the fastener is installed properly, all it takes is a quick visual inspection. First, on a swaged collar, measure the swage length from the top of the collar to the furthest point of the swage's curve. The line shown is a witness mark, indicating the length of the swage. On an incomplete swage like this one, it's easy to see that the collar hasn't been swaged all the way down to the bottom. To complete the swage, repeat the steps. If you need to install a different diameter nose, or to use the optional huck spin collar cutter, simply reverse the assembly process. Remove the true arc ring, pull off the lock ring, remove the half shells, remove the anvil, remove the set screw, and unscrew the thimble from the piston. As an alternative to torching, the optional collar cutter tool ensures clean, safe fastener removal. Attach the collar cutter thimble, just like the other nose assembly. Screw the thimble assembly onto the piston until the machined flat just disappears within the piston housing, just as you did with the nose assembly. Line up the Allen screw to one of the four grooves machined into the piston, and attach the half shells and true arc ring, making sure it snaps securely into place. To remove the huck spin fastener with a collar cutter, just ratchet it down over the pintail. Screw the thimble down to about an eighth of an inch away from the top of the collar to prevent jamming. Engage the tool and hold the trigger down until you hear a distinct pop. The pop indicates that the collar has been completely cut. Notice how cleanly and precisely the collar cutter removes the fastener. Disassembling the collar cutter is easy. Remove the true arc ring, half shells, and the collar cutter anvil. Remove the set screw on the collar cutter thimble. And unscrew the thimble to remove. A few easy care and maintenance steps will help keep your Huckspin 940 repair kit in top working order. For instance, it's important to clean the thimble often. The thimble won't spin onto the pin properly if shavings are in the way. After excessive use, the anvil may form a wear ring, as you can see. This groove indicates wear. Notice the lateral striations. It can cause excessive friction between the anvil and collar. Excessive friction can lead to an incomplete swage. You can also see these striations on the collar. This indicates it's time to change the anvil. For complete setup, preventative maintenance, and safe operating instructions, please read the operator's manuals that have been enclosed with this tool package. Don't you agree? Wasn't that easy? Now, if you need to watch a portion of this video again, Simply choose the appropriate scene selection from the video menu. Easy to use and simple to maintain, the Hawk 940 repair system is changing the way frame repairs are done. Are you ready to give it a try?